Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the InnoVista animated bubble chart as a Tableau extension. This component was generated automatically in the InnoVista animator and exported so that it can be deployed in Tableau. The visual allows a designer to present moving bubbles or images as they progress through the data, typically time periods. Both bubbles and images dynamically resize to represent new values. A user can pause or browse through each individual time period. Here are two examples with data sources containing over a hundred years of data. The first is the national wealth, population and life expectancy values and the second Olympic medal history. Let's look at the data that we will use. In this case, values are based on Excel columns, but could just as easily come from any supported source. There are values for the period, X, Y and bubble items as well as the identifier and group. If we are going to show images instead of bubbles in the chart, we have two options. We can use a column of URLs pointing to SVG images or we can use a column of those images converted to Base64 data. We may want to use Base64 to avoid any external URL calls, but it will also mean quicker access to the images. There are many websites available that will convert SVG text to Base64. In this example, we have the URLs as a column in the data but the base64 in a second table linked by the country name. Let's go into Tableau Online and create a new workbook. And as we are using an Excel spreadsheet, we will choose to upload that. As the data consists of two tables, if we want to use the base64 data, we can combine the two tables with the country link. In this case, we will just use the URL data for the images. Now we can create a worksheet containing this data. As we do not want to summarize the values, we want each data row convert the measures to dimensions. To create a data source for the extension, drag each item to the details box. This will create a strange looking data sheet but don't worry as it will not be visible in the dashboard we are going to create. Next, create a dashboard and drag the data sheet onto it. Select the layout tab, then the floating option, and set the width and height to one pixel. This should make it invisible. Return to the dashboard tab and drag an extension onto the canvas. When prompted, navigate to the animated bubble tracks file that you have downloaded. This should load the extension and present an introduction screen. To edit, select the More Options button at the top of the extension and the Select Configure. This will allow us to map data and set properties for the animation. First, select the data sheet. In this case, there is only sheet 1. This will populate the available data items and the values to map to in the extension. Drag the relevant item to its equivalent field. We also have the option to set or leave the data as its default value. Here, let's leave the image values as default. Then scroll to the bottom and select Save. We can see the chart is using bubbles and that they are skewed to the left of the chart. Let's go back into Configure and make the chart more useful. To show images, drag the URL item to map it to image URLs. If we were using Base64, we would drag that value to image data. The second section of the pop-up allows us to define chart properties. This will include setting sort orders, updating axis options, editing fonts, show or hide the pause panel and setting margins. Here we set the x-axis to log, increase the scale of the bubbles or images and change the x-axis font. Save this and we can now see the chart presents its information in a much more satisfactory way.
Thank you for watching. If you would like to find out how to create your own Tableau extension, please check the links below or search for InnoVista Animator in YouTube.